everybody. Today we're going to be doing the crux of File Snatch, which is the moving and copying of files. We're going to take um, a task uh, where we're going to bring in a folder and a file, not in that order, um, and we're going to be using Windows Storage here. So make sure that's up there in your header so you don't have to type all that stuff out. We also get that file from a Windows function called get item sync, which essentially just scans a folder for files. That can uh, we're going to discuss that more in a later discussion about a methods, in which case that calls this method. Uh, lastly, what I want to say is that this is not the fastest way to do it. Uh, read all bytes is probably the better way to do it in terms of speed. Uh, in our case, we're going to be using this thing called file copy async and move async, which are good but slow. So they have these nice little redundancies in them. So if anything goes wrong, you don't screw everything up. I'm actually moving towards the read all bytes right now to speed up our processes for file snatch. So anyways, um, getting back to this, copy async and move async, what we do here is tell it a destination, pick out a file, and then we go to what we refer to as our collision option. So what happens if something's there? Um, the first one is we generate a unique name. Basically what that says is, oh, there's a file there in that destination that's the same name. Um, what are we going to do with it? Uh, well, let's we'll generate a unique name. Now in the old file snatch, what I had to do was uh, go make my own method to do that, to create a, a new uh, naming con convention. But in the new one, Windows does this for you automatically. Now, if you want to just replace it, there you go, you just add the re replace existing. Or if you want to just to forget it, skip over it, use the fails, fail if exists. And that's basically it. That's all you have to do. The rest of this stuff, we'll, we'll probably talk like the tasks and, and, and the box checks and all that stuff we'll talk about in a later video. But for the most part, that's all you need to do in order to copy these things over. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to support us in other ways, our app is available for purchase at digitaltumult.com or the Microsoft Store. See the links below. We appreciate your support. Thanks.